Before I start this, I'm stupid. I was so worried about, I was so worried about what, I was, what was going down today with getting my new carpet, which, by the way, I've gotten. But um, I, I totally forgot to do a review on NXT TakeOver Portland. Will I? That's eh, a little too late. I could, but that's not what I'm here for. So, after I came upstairs today, after my new carpet was put in, I then had to, uh, well, I had to put my stuff back. When I was doing that, I popped in a movie. And it is, well, if you don't know by the title of this, Mrs. Doubtfire. That's right. A timeless tale of a man who wants to get closer to his kids, so he dresses like an old woman. Can you feel the love? I will mention, though, that all the uh, stuff with the courts and the custody stuff, it hits me harder than it did when I was a kid because being now being a father watching this, it's like, I don't know what I'd do if I couldn't spend time with my son, you know what I mean? Uh, open. But yeah, what's the story? The story is that a man named... Rob Williams plays a man who, eh, who gets an argument with his wife. They decide to get a divorce, and his wife played by Sally Field, and, and they go to court for custody and stuff. And he gets shit on it in this court hearing. Well, he got. They tell him he's he's got to. And I understand that's part of custody vows. You got to get your own apartment. You got to make sure you got to get a job, and all this stuff. And you get to see your your child once a week. Or your children. He has three children. Once a week. And the one scene that now... Let me wait. So, because of this, he decides that... Because, of, you know, he's no longer there. The mom, by, this, by Sally Field, decides to go out for a nanny. And so... What uh, what the dad does, what Williams does, is he changes the number so that no one will call the number. Then he calls it, and he pretends to be a bunch of obnoxious people before finally being uh, the Mrs. Doubtfire. He eventually, so he has his brother and his brother's husband, or boyfriend. I don't know if they get married back then, but the boyfriend, whatever, partner. Uh, Uncle Uncle Frank and Aunt Jack, as he says it earlier, turn him into a woman, an old British woman. So, yeah, and so you know he gets to spend time with his kids, even though they don't know he's there. But yeah, like I said, there's one part. Hits me, and I forgot what it was. I forgot what it was. Like the. Oh yeah. Okay, I still get it. Even when I didn't have a son, it got me. So this is. Even more so now, is when he's had a visitation and they're sitting down, they're eating dinner, and the mom gets there early, like early. They're eating dinner. I'm sure he was paying attention at the time. Is she gets there and she just honks, er, er, and like mom's here. He's like, sit down. This is my time. She's early. This is my time. You're my goddamn kids too. You know, I understand that because. You have a set amount of time. You got to keep that time. Just because she shows up. It's like, no, eh, eh, let's go. No, he still has time. So then she comes up and is like, I honked. Why didn't you come down? And I'm just like, they don't. Every time I watch this, I'm just like, they need to come down. They're still not dad time. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so it hits me more. Here more than now than it did before. But, um. Yeah, and you get it's Robin Williams, so you get the wacky zaniness of a man dressed like a woman. And especially the part where he's like doing all this stuff to do, looks like a lady, and all that. That's one of the fun parts. And uh, you know, walk like a man, talk like a man, you know, so like that. And, yeah, and eventually he does get a job, like he's working on this. He's out, he's like a custodian or something, he's helping move stuff around. Uh, 
One of the funny parts that I like is where he does that uh, uh, James T. Rana story. He just I I I always imagine, I don't know if this is true, they just let him go. They just said they just they just like had this whole table full of dinosaur toys and said, Robin, go play. You know, and just let him go off and do those things. I'm a raptor. The, 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 the disaster. You know. <coughs> I'm sure if they did let him go, there's some stuff they couldn't use because it's P PG-13. But, uh, yeah. Um, and, you know, eventually they, the two oldest kids, they find out that it's him because the son. Okay. This is what always gets me, too. The door is closed. Why not knock? Because why would the bathroom door be closed if someone wasn't in it? And he just, well, he just like this. Okay, this is how it is. Door's closed, right? Here. Door's closed. He's going to walk right in. <gasps> Sees, the, you know, standing up peeing because he's a dude. It's like, what? That's what he... That's what he did. This is what he should do. Oh, I'm busy, dear. Alright, I'll come back later. See? See what I mean? But he just... <clears throat> Make over here. Oh, I do apologize. The one VHS is missing. I went to put it, everything back to it. Was I had to watch one of my videos to get it exactly the way it was. But, um... Can't find any other VHS tape. <clears throat> can't remember what I would do with it. And it uh, I don't want to get in the middle of this. I'm in the middle of a review, but... Eh. So, yeah. That always got me. Well, why didn't he knock? Why just walking? Oh, because it's convenient to the plot. You can say about a lot of stuff in movies. It was convenient to the plot, so he had to walk right in. <coughs> So he tells the two older children, hey, let's not tell your mom and don't tell your sister because she can't keep a secret. Okay. And the mom starts dating James Bond. No, I'm serious. <laughs> Pierce Brosnan is in this. And I was on the part where he's he's basically bashing the dad and he you know, he throws the fruit at him. Oh, I saw it, sir. It was a member of the and you remember the kitchen stuff. Did you not tip them oh it was it was a run by fruiting you know I love that part and hit up his undo it the whole scene where he's gotta be himself and he's gotta be Mrs. Doubtfire because he's he's the thing he he's talking to the guy the uh, guy uh the manager of the station played by Robert Prosky and he says uh Bridges restaurant eight o'clock whatever and so then he goes with Mrs. Doubtfire to the to the house and Miranda Hillard. Daniel? Daniel Hillard is his name, I think. So Daniel, Mrs. Doubtfire, goes to Miranda's house and she says that James Bond has taken her out to dinner at her favorite restaurant, Bridges. <clears throat> so now he's got to do a double duty. He's going to be double duty. He's got to be Mrs. Doubtfire. With them, he's got to be himself. With them, and at one at, at one point, he's 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 drinking the uh, Chevis on the rocks, which I think is the Scotch, and he's drinking all that, and he's getting drunk, and he so he gets so confused that he goes through, and he <coughs> it's a cause of distraction, so he puts pepper on James Bond's foods because he's loves the pepper, and he just goes through the door, doesn't pepper, comes back out. And they goes and sit down with Prosky, not realizing he didn't change it out of his clothes. And so he has to pitch that as an idea for a kid's show, which eventually does work. But then, because of the pepper thing, oh god, I killed the bastard. So he goes, help us undo it! And like, running. And for some reason, I don't understand how this, how it happened. Like, he's giving a Heimlich, and when he does that, it's messing up the mask, so it's coming off. I don't know. And then because of this, he gets, seems to get, like, less time with his kids, 
and he gets one visitation, and it has to be uh, supervised by a member of the courts. Now, to me, I would see it in a different way. I understand just like a woman's not one thing, not the right thing to do, but he. This proves how much he loves his kids that he would dress up like a damn woman to spend time with them. Would, shouldn't that show them that maybe we're being too hard on this guy? He just wants to spend time with his kids. Why are we being so mean and taking time away? No, we're going to make it less. You get one time a week, you have to, have to be supervised by someone, by a stranger that nobody knows, and that's, that's all you get. To me, it seems like, oh, you were... I understand you dress like a woman, but it seems like you really care about your children because you go to the great lengths to dress like a woman to be with them. But no. And I think it was at the request of Miranda, but it just gets me that she would. Eventually, I think she does see this, but like. Because even the kids miss him too. Or her stuff fire, whatever. And she misses him stuff fire. not a real person. But it's like. <coughs> I think this. You no know, Miranda. She was pissed. I get that. She was pissed. But. And. To punish him like that. It's just. He just wanted to be with his kids. And so the punishment is. You just take his kids away. And. I mean he still gets to see him. But not in the way he would like. But then. Of course we get to turn around at the end. Where. She changes her mind and he can spend time with her because they show that she's on the you know, he's on the show as Mrs. Doubtfire and there's a monkey and a mailman and stuff like that. It's all real cool. So he does get to spend time with the kids in the end. But my favorite thing, though, no, one of my favorite things is that beginning of this when he's singing that figure song. I don't know what I'm doing. 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 Are you doing the cartoon voiceovers? Um, and then he gets fired. I always like to do that. In words, a porky pig. Piss off, Lou. <laughs> I always like that. But yeah, this movie's pretty good. I'm going to give it a, an 8 out of 10. Uh, why? Uh, because the, the, the custody stuff has a an effect on me and I can't outright just ignore that the fact so it gets an 8 out of 10 because of the custody stuff and because of you know it, it, it's kind of oh we're gonna take this away and then oh no i have a change of heart it's like why didn't why didn't she have a change of heart in the courtroom instead of waiting until she saw him on tv i mean i mean she could see how she there's the scene where she looks at it and can see you know, how, how bad this is hurting him, but she doesn't change her mind till later. That should she should be like, I changed my mind. I I, I, I don't want to do this. They're his kids too. Or she go back to that. They're his goddamn kids too. That should have came back full circle. He said that the daughter said that, and then should have come back. Little Mara Wilson should have come back. You know, but. Eight out of ten. So, what are your thoughts on Mrs. Doubtfire? Like, share, and subscribe. And in the comments below, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Oi. Did I mention Robert Prosky's in this movie? What other movie was Robert Prosky in? Oh, America, no, what was it? Oh, I know. Bow, 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 bow,